Below the Belt. My name is Clifton, and these are my co-hosts, Lenny and Michael. As always. And this is the wrestling show for the fans and by the fans. In today's episode, Yes, I'm wearing shades. We're going to answer some user submitted questions. In particular, we've got Rated R Entertainment, who asks, What are all of your top ten favourite finishes? Do you want to start off? Lydia. Yes. Why is she always getting to start off first right now? Because she I'm doesn't. the favourite. And she's hot. She's <laughs> My top 10 finishes, I had to write down a list because I started making a really, really long list, so I had to cut it down to 10. So, my prerequisites for the best finishes were that it has to look like it hurts. Because yes. otherwise, what's the point? Why would you believe that someone's lying there and can't get up again? So the point is to have entertainment value. Right. But it's a finisher. But it's a finisher, so yes. you've got to look like you're hurt. No, you've got to look like you are actually entertaining the fans. No, you've That's got to. That's what you get for always asking. You've got to beat them it. down so they won't get back up, so That's you count them for the pit. What he said. Yes. And the other thing is that it has to look reasonably hard to do, but not so hard that you, by the time you get yourself prepared to do it, the guy should have recovered. So Why? It can't take too long. No, no, no. Check this out. Up. For you guys watching at home, would you give someone a pedigree or a low blow? Believe me, a low blow kills you, especially the guys. So yes, a low blow but it works better. To do. But I don't, that's not one of my top 10 favorites because anyone can do that. Mm. Because anyone can learn and uh, yeah, it can be Anyway, it's my favorite finishes. So, okay. number 10. Number 10 the is ignorant ones. The Sharpshooter by Bret Hart because right. that looks sore. And I could believe that someone couldn't get out of that and um, therefore has to submit. Bret Hart's sharpshooter. Okay. By the way, I hate it when anyone else tries to do the sharpshooter. The Rock did it perfectly. What about Chris Benoit? Yes. Chris Benoit, okay. But Ric Flair, HBK in particular, that mm. really gripes me. Very naughty. How dare he try to, to be, do Bret Hart's move when we all know that he's screwed him. I anyway. don't know. We don't hate HBK. Well, do we? That's another topic. No comment. Next. <laughs> um, number nine, I couldn't... Decide between the Samoan drop and the fireman's carry because they're kind of similar. You know, you get someone on your on your shoulders and then you either drop that way or you drop them that way. So um, my favourite though is Mr. Kennedy when he does it off the ropes, forwards. So that looks sore and hard to do. And injures himself. Yep. The second, uh, sorry, number eight on the list is the pretty much about any kind of power bomb. But I really like the Alabama Slammer. Hardcore Holly's not one of my favourite wrestlers, but that looks really sore. It's his only thing he has. He but doesn't it does have look really sore, doesn't it? Uh, that would hurt me. If well, I... let them judge, you know. Um, number seven is um, the best splash off the rope, or perhaps the top of the cage even, is by Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that, that, I loved it. Still love it. Oh, yeah. Still looks good. Both of my commentators are really... And following on from that, in the vein of off the top rights, is the Swanton Bomb. Okay, yes, I agree. Or possibly the Kenton Bomb. Go, Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Number five is the Ultimate Warriors Gorilla Press Drop. Because I still remember them, how so can, they must have been really good. How can a Gorilla Press Drop by the Ultimate Warrior even go up against a Gorilla Press Drop by the Big Show? Or by someone like Great Khali. Because it doesn't give you the same feeling of awesomeness. Well, I'm pretty sure that's Whereas up to everyone's Big perception. Show's, Big Show's a big guy. Of course he can lift someone up and drop them. Anyway. anyway. Number four is the Brain Buster or um, a vertical suplex that's delayed for any length of time and then they drop it. Mr. Ass made that move famous. Really? I like Tajiri's one. Ew. <laughs> the jury. Because he's no. little. He's one of our forgotten wrestlers. Yes, he is. Number three, we're getting into the real ones now. Number three is the Doomsday Device by LOD Legion of Doom, where you've got someone on the shoulders and they can yeah, I think it looks cool. I it didn't know we soft. can do tag team combinations. Hey, finishes. a finisher's a finisher. Finisher's a finisher, yes. Number two. Breaking the rules. Might be a surprise to everybody out there, but my number two is the Stone Cold Stunner. I thought this would have been number one on your list. Stone Cold fan, Lanier. <laughs> it's great. Stone Cold will be disappointed. But not quite as great as the Tombstone Power Driver by The Undertaker. Is that your number one? That's my number one. Great list. 
All right, Instead, Michael. All right. <laughs> Unlike you guys, I am organized this time. Hey, organized. <laughs> oh, I have all oh, organized today. Today, no, for but the I'm first particularly time. organized. Yes. Now, I'm gonna name my ten top finishers, which I believe all of you at home would agree. Right. And don't be as ignorant as them. Uh, can Can you give us some reasoning from your one to ten? My one to ten would be based on entertainment value and on pain. Right. right. And yeah. number 10 would be Angle Slam. Oh, yeah. The Angle Slam looks very good when Kurt Angle lifts up his opponent, is flying uh, mid air, slams it down. Wham! Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Number 9 would be F5, popularized by Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, yeah. Remember, the F5 mm -hmm. ended mm -hmm. Rakishi's reign in WWE. It spilled blood all over the ring. And whose blood was that? Hulk Hogan. Take that, Hulkamaniacs. Mm -hmm. Number eight would be from TNA, the Canadian Destroyer, mm -hmm. with a little flip flop and a flippily flippily flip, mm -hmm. and you get a power bomb. <laughs> right. Number seven, you would have the Lion Salt. It's a finishing move. It's a finishing move by Chris Jericho. Okay. Well, he popularized it in the year two thousand one to two thousand two. Yeah. But it's a really unique move. Check it out. Number six, we tend to agree, is the Swanton Bomb, Jeff Hardy. It looks all the cool. Best. It just looks cool. Maybe it's because it's performed by Jeff Hardy. Number five, we have the Batista ball. Mm. Looks cool. Number four, we have RKO. Really? The RKO. I like the RKO because it resembles speed and agility. Mm. Mm. Look at how when Randy Orton executes it, you never would expect that he's going to do it at that split second. Yeah, it can come from anywhere. So I do agree with you, Leo. Yeah, I just. I don't think it's very Randy Orton rocks. <laughs> now, the third one in my rank would be the Goldberg Jackhammer. Very nice, something like the Brain Buster, but cooler but because it's by Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly. cool. Everything by Goldberg is cool. Even to mm. is better than that. No, to <laughs> Now, my second pick would be Goldberg Spear. It is really nice. Watch when he speared Chris Jericho in the Elimination Chamber over the glass. Mm. Remarkable. Goldberg fans watching there, better you should support ages. me. Better than Aegis. And even better than Batista's. Aegis uh, Yeah, Aegis Spears sucks. Look like a <laughs> sissy. My number one favorite, most favorite finisher of all time would be the Walls of Jericho. However, I'm going to make a clarification. Now, in the past, the Walls of Jericho has two forms. Walls of Jericho default form, which is what you see the sissy one that Jericho is delivering to superstars these days. Or you have one more, which is the Lion Tamer. Oh, yeah. A modified Walls of Jericho, only this time Chris Jericho will put his knee in between of your backbone, yep. causing intense pain. I've experienced it because <laughs> I used to fight in school and my friend did that to me. But kids don't ever try these moves at home. Yeah. yeah. You've seen the public service announcements by WWE. Otherwise... I am no. very, very sorry for my <laughs> actions. <laughs> I escaped it, but I was really lucky that I'm still alive today after doing what I did at high school. Okay, okay. up to you. Let's, 